boys and girls it's so lovely to see you all again but this morning we're going to talk about um, a really special story in the bible but before we do that we're going to learn our memory verse together and our memory verse this morning is taken from john chapter 2 verse 11 and we're going to say that all together this morning and it says and his disciples believed in him so we'll say it again together and his disciples believed in him. And isn't that right? I think this week we should, if we have a wee Bible of our own, it would be really good to maybe read that verse at night before we go to bed or pick a wee time in the day that we try to remember this verse because next week we'll be learning another new verse. And you know what? It's whenever we are boys and girls, we boys and girls like all of you, that we can get to know so many verses from the Bible. And then whenever you're bigger like me, you'll, have, you'll know so many verses from the Bible that will be so helpful to you in your life. But we're going to talk this morning about the story and that's taken as well from John chapter 2 verses 1 to 11 where Jesus performed his first miracle. And that miracle, maybe some of you will know what that miracle was, but it's whenever Jesus turned water into wine. Isn't that so cool? Yes, he turned water into wine. You see, Jesus was a guest at a wedding. And in those days, and maybe still now, wed um, the wine was a really important part of the wedding. And it's because um, uh, they give we uh, wine to the guests to let them know how much they were thought of and how much they respected them. So to run out of wine at the wedding was a really big deal. And Jesus knew this. So Jesus called on his servants and he said, will you take the jars and would you fill them with water? So they did that and they brought them back. And whenever they brought them back to Jesus, Jesus said, would you now go and bring them to the master of this party? And when he tried it, it was no longer water, it was wine. And everybody at that wedding, just like we would have been, was in awe to what just happened. They couldn't believe it. But it tells us that his disciples really believed and trusted in him more and more from that because they had witnessed firsthand God performing a miracle. It was only God could change water into wine. Isn't that unbelievable? And that's what God wants us to do. Just like his disciples seeing how powerful he was, God wants us to put our whole trust in him and he wants us to realize that he still can do miracles. He wants us to bring him the small things and he wants us to bring him the big things because he is the God of miracles. So thank you all for listening to our story this morning. I'm going to say a prayer for everyone now and then we are going to go into our singing and it's one of our really favorite songs this morning. So we're all going to close our eyes together and we're going to say a wee prayer. So dear God, I thank you for every boy and girl here this morning and I thank you for every boy and girl who is listening to Hell's Kids at home. God, I thank you that you love them and I thank you God that you created them to be who they are. And I thank you Lord God that you are gonna allow them more and more to put their trust in you God and see that you are the God of miracles. So God, we thank you that you are everything to us, Lord, and we love you this morning. Amen. So thank you all again for listening. It was so lovely to see you all this morning. And we are now going to sing together our, the, the, one of our favorite songs that we sing together. Our God is a great big God. Our God is a great big God. Our God is a great